In this video, we're going to take a look at the Serpent's add-on, which enables you to create add-ons using nodes. This method is way faster and way easier than the traditional method of developing Blender add-ons. Okay, so before we start the tutorial, make sure to install and enable the add-on. So I'm just going to search for Serpent's, and as you can see, it's enabled. And then we can go into the scripting workspace and then go into visual scripting. And then give the add-on a name. I'm just going to call it testing. And then the author is going to be me. And then we need to decide where we want the button to appear. So press shift A and we're going to add a panel. And then we can select where we want the uh, add-on to be. So I'm just going to press N open the sidebar and select that part of the interface. And then I'm just going to call the category, which is the text on the side, set it to all of 3D, and then the label as a test panel. Okay, and then Shift A, and then we need to add the button. So just connect the panel to the button, and then give the button a name, this is the text for the button. And then we need to add an operator to the button so that we make the button do stuff. So press Shift A, and then go to Program, Operator, and then we can give the operator a name, and then we can refer to that operator in the button node later. And this is just the description which we get when we hover over the uh, button with our mouse. And then next we can add a run script node, which enables us to run a script when we click on the button in the add-on that we are creating. And then I'm going to save before we continue in case something crashes, just give it a name and then save. And then next we of course need to write the script that the button is going to run. So let's create a new script and then select it inside the run script node. And then we can just start with the most basic add-on ever, which is to add a cube. So just paste in the code for adding a cube. And then we can connect the operator to the button. And I'm going to delete everything in the viewport, compile the add-on go into the add-on and then just click the button. And as you can see, we added the cube, which was our script. And then next we can add an icon as well to the button. So let's just select an icon. You can also add some custom ones and upload them to the add-on. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, but let's just select one of the Blender icons compile the add-on, and as you can see, we now have the icon as well. And then next, we can of course make the add-on slightly more complex, still very simple, but we can add a uh, script that adds cubes at random locations on the X, Y, and Z axis in between minus 30 and 30. And then when we compile the uh, add-on, you can see that it generates cubes at random locations. And then we can of course add some physics to the uh, cubes. So just add some rigid body physics to one of the cubes and then copy the code from the info window into the script. And then we can compile the uh, new add-on with the new script. And then as you can see, we get the uh, cubes at random locations with rigid body physics. And then if you want to create another button with some other functionality, we can just copy and paste the uh, operator and run script node using shift D. And then once we have changed the names, we can uh, duplicate the button node and uh, create a, a new button. So uh, click on the plus sign and then shift D to duplicate and then connect the panel to the new button. 
And then we of course need to connect this button to the new operator and create a new script, which we can add to the run script node for the new operator. And then we can of course add an icon to the new button. So I shift D and then connect the icon to the button. And then you can select any Blender icon or a custom one if you want to. I'm just going to add a plain icon. And for a script for the other button, I'm going to add a plane and then add some passive physics to the plane with mesh as the collision shape. And then we'll save one more time and then we can compile the new add-on. Okay. And as you can see, we now have a plane and some random cubes added. So uh, with this add-on, you can focus on the scripts and not having to deal with the operator, panel and so on in Python, which is very convenient. Okay, so let's uh, add some text as well. You can of course add uh, even more uh, interesting things for uh, these add-ons, but I'm not going to cover them in this short introduction. So uh, let's just uh, add some text in between the two buttons and then compile. And as you can see, we now have some text in between as well. And then once you're happy with the add-on you have created, we can uh, go into the uh, Serpent's add-on settings and save it as a zip file so that you can install it under add-ons. So uh, just give it whatever name you want to and then save the add-on. And then let's start a new file in Blender. And then preferences, add-ons, and then install. And then go to the folder where you saved the uh, add-on. And then enable it. And as you can see, we now have the new add-on that we just created within a few minutes.